What up, you guys? It is Funk Snuggly Bear. We are back for some more Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. We are now cleaned over. I believe this is level F. Uh, we are going to try to get to level G and then see what is after that. So far, it is dodging these giant gray marbles that are dropping from the ceiling. I always like in certain games that there's uh, levels that just seem very, like, grabbed out very like grayscale and it's like okay makes sense you gotta can't be all color in life sometimes it's uh darkness what was that we have a giant chicken that uh likes to kick boxes and he takes more than one hit of damage so it's interesting new mechanic here and everybody's favorite uh type of level which is insane platform where you have the little sides of the map that go in and out and you have to do the time perfect jumps. I like though at least in this game they give you the boxes <laughs> as I uh, jumped to my death right there. I was like, oh yeah, they give you the boxes, this should be safe. This is probably going to be the most difficult part of this game for me because uh, for, one, for some reason moving platforms, I suck at platforming. And there's my death again so you know what just uh it's nice to just jump off the ledge i also took the box when i wasn't thinking of what i was doing there so let's go back to safety platform um what other games have this type of platforming that like i really just can't get through it's like i don't know something with timing and then knowing that like right there it's like i'm a second off before the uh the next part comes out so i think I just have to be patient. I'm so glad I got that one. And I'm so glad you can jump underneath them, uh, or not underneath them, jump up through them. Uh, I don't think that's how that's supposed to work out, where uh, I sort of got sucked up into the next level, but I'll, I'll take it. I, I like that you do have a high enough jump radius to clear all of that. For a second, I was getting a little bit worried of like, where's the next thing gonna spawn? So. I'm actually thankful that they didn't give me a lot of enemies that round, they just uh, made it a platforming section a lot of the times. There's a tunnel level or something like that. And it looks like that is it for Zone F. It was just a cl easy uh, run and gun clear type stage, of course, always coming up top for that extra one up. Good work team, you're almost at the casino. Is that, is that it? Is that, is that all you have to say? Okay, then we should be transitioning into the next level, which would be level G. It looks like, oh hey, we are at the casino. So I'm not 100% sure if this is the end of the game since we got to level G. We got some uh, spiffy croc crooks, as I'm going to call them, with their uh, nice little top hat and vest. Uh, it looks like they're jumping and everything, so we'll see where this ends up, but so far it's been a pretty fun experience. Uh, seeing each new character and each new level design is always a, a pleasant feel, always making sure that the game looks good, and making sure to collect these flowers. That I, I think they give you the 1-ups, I just never know, because the 1-ups just come randomly. I should probably be checking my screen. What are these floating like two balls up top. Oh, okay, so it looks like oh, I'm, I'm going to be a scaredy cat and go underneath because I'm not going to be able to, and I take a hit of damage, not be able to do that jumping pattern. Oh my god, it's Clay Matthews from the Green Bay Packers. He's out to uh, rough the passer penalties because that's how football has become nowadays. You can't even touch the quarterback. No, I'm joking. That's... I like though they have tusks and everything, and I like that the there's some enemies that actually destroy boxes that get uh, boxes out of the way, and then we got more of the the fly guys coming in to annoy me during my everyday special. But I also like the guy. He always just looks like he's angrily clapping. He's like, "Yes, come, come fight me. I'm ready for you." What he, he reminds me of the uh, the Pokemon. And I'm gonna look, I can't remember the Pokemon's name that has the, uh, the pincers on his head, and, like, but he just looks like his, like, evil, angry step-cousin, being like, yes, good, time to kill the little, uh, chipmunk. And it's funny, like, all the, uh, sprite models of the characters, it's like, uh, 
chip is pretty like small compared to everybody else, but then you have like these small little like flies that are uh, smaller than him. I also like how that the this running back guy can't uh, hit the blocks that I'm standing on. Also, I'm a complete uh, dummy because I couldn't figure out how to move around there. I now know I need to stack these to jump up here. But for a second I was just jumping just to get the exercise, you know, doing jumping jacks every day, getting the, the workout in for uh, Mr. Chip. I'm glad I still have my uh, potion because I'm able to pick up the, uh, <laughs> I stunned myself there, uh, what is it, the uh, apples and the big items. Ooh, and an extra one up, I will take that, uh, I'm probably going to need this to jump over, put that down, jump over, boss time. Alright, Casino Cat, uh, and there's tacks in the ground, and there's tacks in the ground, and I'm gonna keep stepping on the tacks in the ground. I need to just not be a, a dummy. The one thing that I think I could say I'm just a little disappointed in this game is the bosses. Um, you can see right there that it just got stuck in an infinite loop of uh, throwing downwards, and the pattern for this one's pretty easy. Like, I think it would have been... Uh, very challenging if they put more tacks all across them. But zone G cleared, of course, coming back up here, picked that one up. I think if you didn't realize that the one up is up top, you would not be able to abuse it. Throwing some flowers to my gal. Thanks guys, I knew you could do it. Fat Cat just ran off, but you can chase him with my rocket. Oh sweet, so we are going to get a little bit of a few more levels going into outer space. What up Mars and a galaxy in the background because that's how it really works in real life. Hey Mr. Boat in the background. And we'll be going into level H. So I think we'll pick up on level H. Uh, I'm going to do a quick save just to make sure that I don't accidentally uh, mess up or do anything like that. And so we'll start off level H and then we only have looks like two more levels till the end of the game so I'm really excited about that. This one is just we got an uh, introduction of crab enemies. Makes sense since we're uh, in sewers because we all know crabs live in sewers. Uh, fun fact, sewer crabs number one uh, death of uh, people in New York. They think it's the rats. No, it's the sewer crabs. The, it's the media will never tell you that. Well now you know. Chippendales let you know. Chippendales has been letting you know since the early 90s that uh, crabs were the uh, problem in more than just one way. Just sewer crabs and other types of crabs, but you don't have to worry about those. And then we're back to the uh, flying ninja squirrels. Those are pretty dope. Uh, they're doing a lot of damage. I like how the uh, crabs spit out bubbles, because so, I don't know when I've ever seen a crab spit out bubbles. I wish they would have done more of like a side-to-side -side claw attack, but you know, you gotta keep the game interesting, gotta keep the game challenging, can't have it uh, always so easy. Uh, we're gonna have some platforming, are we here? Alright, I feel like something's coming, and of course I was right, <laughs> holy crap, mid-air time that, I, like, I'm, I'm even impressed that I was able to throw that at the proper time. Okay, we got some of these movable blocks that will be able to make me build a path. I don't think it looks like I need it. Of course I needed it to get that extra star. I, The funny thing is, the green acid just looks like solid green painted onto the screen at the bottom of the screen. It also just, like, it has no texture, it has no, like, I can't tell any difference to it. It just looks solid green. I'm trying to pick up the box here so that I can just run up here, do do do, come back to that. We got some more of these little green lizard guys that transform into me when they're nearby. I don't understand why that is. Uh, I wonder if it is... Oh, I think I just saw a shotgun teddy bear just walk off the top of the screen. I love these guys when they like blow back and it's just like whoop, right back. Like they turn into a ball and then just fall completely off the screen. That allows me to pick up a lot of these uh, flowers, so that's pretty good. And then we got another one of the Transformer guys, hopefully clear out the screen. And then the final boss time? Nope, that is just where the levels ends, another platforming level. So Zone Age is clear. Once again, same pattern, come up here, click V1 up, and 
I'm going back to headquarters, so don't worry about me. Watch out for the fans in Zone I. So I think that's where we'll leave it off. They could blow you away. So I thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, have a good one. Hey,